Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Kimbo here, and it is time for an epic, epic Bakugan deck profile video. Made another one, man, so we got it right here. This is number 39. It's crazy to think that, dude. 39 deck profiles, you know, using all different cards and such. Like I said, I have them all set off on the side and such, and they're going to be decks that like, I actually enjoy using. You know, if there's a deck that I build, it's because it like fits my style, and I really like actually want to use it. And I can't wait to go to actual events because I got 39 decks that I have to battle people with, you know? <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that. So, you know, it's being added to the roster and obviously matching uh, the glows for this year. So, yeah. Now, the green case this time. So, the theme for this is Darkest Aquas Ventus. So, yeah, man, get all the Bakugan out. Get all three right there. Literally just finished making this deck about 30 minutes ago. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to uh, make the video on it. Uh, mainly, I had to let my phone charge up because I was recording before that. Uh, you know, I'm always recording stuff constantly, just putting out content. I mean, you guys already know that. I put out, like, what? Anywhere between, like, one to, like, eight videos a day, just depending on how many I make. But, yeah, because, um, you know, I just do it because I love it. And it keeps me sane, you know, and it shows it. But anyways, uh, we've got Darkest Dragonoid Ultra here, double fist, 303, lands on a fist, gets plus 300 and plus 2, so you're talking about 605 uh, right away, and then max like 750, 750, and uh, they can get up to like uh, 8, you know, 750 and 8, so a lot of damage with it, big time. Um, then we got uh, Aquas Tritonium Ultra, B power 500, damage of 2, and if it lands on a Helix, it gets plus 100 Bs and plus 3, and then you can re-roll with it if you miss a roll with it, so that's nice, you get a re-roll with it right away. But you're talking about max, like, literally, right away, this thing could get up to, like, 1,100. And then that bonus with it, too, 1,200. 1,200 with it, and then even if you lose, like, the three, you still got two uh, damage for it. So, pretty good setup with that. And then Ventus, Vice Rocks, Ultra. B-Power, 500 damage of two. And if it lands on a Helix, plus 200, plus two. So, you're talking about this thing getting up to, like, what, 1,300 <laughs> like, but that's crazy, man. 1300. And then it might be a one because, like, the way it is, it's like a 600 uh, helix and then losing three. But it'll still have like 1300 with it. And that's a lot of power right away, dude. So, yeah. And that's without any Evos at all. So, overall, they have a lot of power with them. And even like Drago uh, lands on the helix, you know, it'll still go up to like 900. So, it's still a pretty dang good uh, setup. <clears throat> they can all get up there, B power wise. But yeah, and obviously having some damage cards to uh, back them up. So here we go with the cores. So we got the Helix, you know, obviously putting the numbers right there so I can mark which ones are, you know, mine and which ones go to certain decks. Uh, but plus 600 and minus 3. Um, then we got a Fist right here, plus 100. Darkest and Aquas get plus 3 for the damage, up in that damage. Uh, another Helix, another plus 603. Um, got another Fist right here, plus 100. Aquas and Ventus get plus 3. Another Helix, plus 300, plus 3. It's a good uh, Helix, you know. Like, I'd say my favorite ones to use are, like, probably, like, 500 and minus 1. You know, it's probably my go-to one. 600 minus 3 a little bit, but also lowering that damage. Got to have some damage cards to back that, uh, to back that up. But also the 303 is a really nice one, too, because it's a good balance of getting both. And then for the last Fist, we got plus 100, and Darkest and Aquas get plus 3. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of these decks, um, you know, it's for people that don't have, like, everything because not everybody's going to have every single Bakugan or such or, you know, a lot of cards or anything like that. Because, I mean, some places still don't have Age of Ireless, which, you know, is obviously a bummer and such. But, yeah, people got to work with what they have, and that's why I make some of the decks, you know. Like, some of them are fun decks that are pretty good, and some of them are obviously competitive, but, you know, they're all pretty good. You know, in this, in this case, it's a pretty good deck because they can get up to breaking about a 1,000 Bs each if they get the roll right, you know, you get the right roll with them. So, Darkest Dragonoid Ultra. This is actually Hyper Dragonoid uh, Ultra because, you know, they didn't come out with, like, a uh, actual Drago Ultra. They just came out with the Hyper one. That's it. But still, looks really, really awesome. Um, then we've got uh, Aqua Stertonium Ultra right there. And then Ventus Vice Rocks Ultra right here. So, yeah, man. Now it's time for the actual deck setup with this. So, my main focus for this, I wanted to have it where, like, there are some cards that hit kind of hard, but mainly, like, low-cost cards, because, you know, getting the flow effect in there a little bit, but also um, getting the energy in there. So, a little bit of an energy ramp, but also, like, low-cost cards, so you can use a lot of cards back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. But Dark Waters plus 200, and then you can re-roll. Um, got another Dark Waters in there. Uh, 
yeah, I gotta shuffle those ones, obviously. I, sh I shuffled the deck a little bit, but still gotta shuffle it more. Um, Stone Skin, plus 200. Sacrifice for plus 800, 3 cost. Uh, Wave Slash, plus 300. Then Flow for 1,000, 3 cost. Uh, Shadow Dogs, you can you have to re-roll. And then if it opens, uh, the Bakugan gets plus 400. And if you win because of that, an opponent must discard 2 cards. So... Um, you know, gets some of the ammo away from the opponent. You know, the discard cards can be big because if your opponent doesn't have any cards in their hand, they don't have much to, you know, really do to defend against your attacks. You know what I mean? So, like, discard cards like that can be really, really big, especially if you stack up with them. But Hyper Drago Ultra 505 lands on a fist, plus 400, and plus 3. So, you talk about it could get up to, like, what, uh, 1050? Yeah, 1050 and, like, 11 damage with that right setup on turn 2. It's pretty wild, dude. Then we got Ruin, recharge your energy cards, so you get high up on energy cards, you can literally recharge all of them and then just start playing some cards if you have them in your hand. Thunderbolt for plus three, um, Stone Blade plus two, and then if it's holding a fist, you can energize it uncharged, so getting some energy out there. Wild Roar, minus 300, good defense against your opponent. Titan Vice Rocks Ultra, six costs, but 605. If it lands on a Helix, it gets plus 1,000 and plus 10. 1,615 before the actual, like, Helix count. So that can literally get up to, like, 2,200. 2,200 and, like, you're talking 12, even if it loses the 3. That's pretty wild, dude. That's a lot of power. It's going to be hard to stop that. It's like a runaway train with that. Um, Stone Blade got another one. Uh, got Stone Hide right here. Stop Arliss. If you do, you can energize it uncharged. Uh, Chaotic Darkness. Choose a player to discard a card. Ventus Mirage, the opposing Bakugan must reroll so you can be a troll with your opponent. Be like, oh, they both open? Uh, well, you gotta reroll now. <laughs> and then they miss that reroll, and then you get the win because they didn't open. That'll be pretty wild. Uh, deep Dive, draw a card, and then you can reroll in case there's a bad roll. Unstoppable, plus 600. Holding a fist, plus two for the Frost Strike. Make it harder for your opponent to stop your attack. Uh, Darkest Howl, plus four and a beast. Sacrifice for plus a thousand. Four cost. <clears throat> Another Ventus Mirage. Hyper Tritonium Ultra, 804. Lands on a Helix, plus 200 and plus 4. Turn 2, this thing could get up to 1,600. Just saying. 1,600, and even if it loses 3 with that, you're talking about 5 damage. But still, 1,600 Bs on turn 2, and that's pretty wild, man. Hyper Drago Ultra got another one there. Uh, Counter Regression stops Chaos or Pyrus. Wild Roar got another one right there. Rock Riser stopping a Shield or a Magic Shield. Water Slash for plus 2, getting that damage in there. Another Hyper Tritonium Ultra, also that Hex. Um, got Unstoppable, another Hex, uh, plus 600, and obviously, you know, the, the Frost Strike with it. Got another one of those. Ice Barrier, plus 400, two cost. Got China in here, so when you open a Bakugan, you can energize a card from your hand uncharged. So this can go into effect of the rerolls, too. So you open a Bakugan, um, you know, you can energize a card in your hand uncharged. You retract it because you put out, like, a reroll card. You roll it out again. You get another energy from your hand on charge because it's when oh, whenever you open a Bakugan. So, literally, you can do that. It's sort of like the same thing that people do for uh, Pyrus uh, Serpentis because, you know, every time you open it, you can make an attack for, like, five, I think it is. Or, or yeah, you can do, like, a Pyrus attack with it each time you open it. So, it's, like, that same sort of setup uh, but using China. Um, and then we got Deep Freeze uh, stops... Uh, a Magic Shield or a Helix. Got another Titan Vice Rocks Ultra. Got another China. Um, got Sea Serenity. Stops Chaos or Ventus. Got Piercing Scream. Minus 400. Hyper Tritonium. Uh, if I could talk. Another Hyper Tritonium Ultra. Another Hyper Drago Ultra. Another Titan Vice Rocks Ultra. Mind Slip. So choose a player to discard a card and then reroll. Um, Darkest Slicer. Plus 200. Holding a Fist. Plus 3 damage. Uh, Cloak and Shadow. Plus 3. And the Shadow Strike. So... Yeah, man, overall, it's a pretty good setup, you know, really, really diverse. You can, uh, you know, get a lot of big-time hits in there. Like, the Bakugan themselves can get some pretty high B-power with them. You get some rerolls in there to back you up in case you, like, get, like, a, a mess-up roll and such. And also, like, you got some flow in there. Just a lot of different things that you can work with and such. But, yeah, man, overall, it's going to be a really, really fun deck to use, and I can't wait to use it. And also, I mean, the Hyper Drago um, doesn't tend to yeet cores as much as the regular Drago does, and if you're careful with the rolls with the regular Drago, you can get it. Um, but, yeah, Hyper Drago doesn't yeet the cores as much, so... Yeah, overall, this should be a pretty good setup, and plus they're all ultras, so, I mean, they could pick up two cores. If they get the, you get the right roll with them, they could pick up two cores. And imagine one of these monsters holding two of these cores, like, especially the two 600s. Like, you might go down on damage, but you're talking about getting 1,200, or in this case, you get 900 and evens it out. So, literally 900, 900 Bs with that. It would be pretty wild. But... 
yeah guys anyways that is it for this epic bakugan deck profile number 40 is the next one and you guys already know whenever it's like the 10 i try to do something special i'll say this uh, another person's made a deck like the one that i plan on making and uh this, this is like a hint at it you know another person's made a deck like this it's hard to do it but i'm gonna make it work and that's the main thing, thing i gotta say and i'm also gonna be paying uh homage because yeah that's what i do and there's a person that's really really awesome that i totally want to pay homage to with this next deck you can take a guess at who it is or what the theme for the next deck is going to be in the comments but it's already set in stone i just got to work on it and you know i'm gonna figure out a way of making it work it's gonna happen but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this epic epic bakugan deck profile um number 39 this is a pretty awesome deck and i can't wait to use it man but hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel and my phone decided to cut out during the outro but hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it's your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan my phone won't cut off bakugan bro i'm up out of here